Hey everyone, I just came back to Fallout 4 and I noticed everything was crashed because everything updated to 1.5 and I had mods before that and it's been like two fucking months and holy shit. So, after doing all the usual stuff, updating drivers, re-updating my mods, all that other shit, you know, just the basic stuff, re-configuring uh, load orders and all that other crap, we found out that shit still wasn't working. Actually, where it was hanging up on was exactly uh, right as soon as you load a game and the game loads and you can hear the fucking radio in the background because your settlement has a fucking radio in the background, but it crashes two seconds later before you see anything, before anything loads up. And so I found out the old uh, interface mods were actually interfering with this new interface configuration in 1.5 that they made up. So basically your old interface mods were, were fucking with things. That's what was happening. Even if you updated them, they're, they were still fucking with things. And so, you're here for the fix, I'll give you the fix. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your follow data folder in your Steam library, wherever the fuck that is, you're going to go into your follow for folder, you're going to go into the data folder, you're going to go into interface folder. You're going to delete everything in interface, just control A, delete. Goodbye. And so now you're going to reinstall all your mods. You're going to uninstall them and then reinstall them. The easiest way to do this is with Nexus Mod Manager. I am assuming you fucking updated all of them properly and did all that right because that will fuck up shit. And the reason why you want to use uh, Nexus Mod Manager or the reason why I use it personally, you don't have to use it, but it's it's just so much easier because there's so many different fucking options in there for like auto load order and all these other different, you know, that you have a profile system, you have a profile system where you can create a new profile and then use those mods and then when you want to do a different save on different mods, you can use that make a new profile for those mods so it's really awesome it's an awesome system so basically the easiest way to reinstall and uninstall all your mods and then reinstall them is to create a new profile save that profile now create another new profile and you're going to be automatically switched to that newest profile you just made you're going to select disable all mods in the toolbox uh, drop down menu. Once you hit that, it's going to be a lot of waiting because everything's going to uninstall. And then you're going to load up your old profile, the one that you made earlier. And you're going to load that one up and you're going to click load order in the drop down list. After that, you, you're done. You're basically done. The last thing you need to do is, you know, update all your... Uh, any files and uh, preference files for preferences because... We like our preferences. We're PC gamers. That's how we roll, right? And you're good to go. You should be good to go. If you fucked something up, it might be a mod because the mod might not be updated to uh, 1.5 yet. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. And that should be it. Thank you all for listening, and I hope this helped you out. Have a good day.